Hello world, Becca here from Inside the Square coming at you with another CSS tutorial. Today I'd like to show you how to align your mobile menu either on the left or the right for York, Pacific, and Five theme templates. Now each of these templates have a centered mobile navigation, but they all call it something different. So we have three different codes to look at today. I put them here on one screen so we could take a look and I could explain what I mean here. Uh, we have the mobile primary nav links and secondary nav for York. In Pacific, it's just referred to as mobile navigation. And in five, they're actually treated as list items. So it's mobile dash navigation, and then UL is for a list item. We'll get into the reason why it's called that in a different tutorial. But in any case, all three of these codes are beneath the video. So feel free to grab those and go ahead and start working with them. Otherwise, stick around and I'll show you how to add it to each one of these demo sites. We're going to start with York. So I'm going to go over to my York demo site where I have the full menu pulled up for us to look at. And I'll select Design and then Custom CSS. This is where we're going to add the code that's beneath the video. Now, first and foremost, the code I'm going to paste will just align the text to the left. But you'll see I've got this big space right here, and I honestly don't like the look of that. So I added something else. We added a negative margin. Now I've pulled the margin to the left by 100 pixels. And that'll kind of scoot your menu over a little bit and make it a bit more in line. If you don't like that part, totally fine. Just delete the margin section. Otherwise, paste the whole thing and that's listed beneath this video. When you're done, select save and you'll be ready to rock. Now, the next template I'd like to show you is the five template. In this demo, I've already got the menu pulled up at the very top. You'll see the text is aligned center. We'll go ahead and go to design and then custom CSS. Now here you're going to see something very similar. We're going to say text align on the left, and it will, but it's going to scoot it all the way over to the side, and that's way too far than we want it to be. I'd like to scoot it over a little bit more so someone doesn't have to touch the side of their phone to navigate around. So we're actually going to add some padding. If we add padding left by about 10 pixels, that'll scoot it out. Let's say we knock that up to 50 pixels. That'll scoot it out even more. So we've got the menu on the top and then the links on the bottom. So again, code is beneath the video. We'll do text align left and then padding left, 50 pixels. Select say when you're done and you're good on a five template. Now, if you're using Pacific, we have this overlay menu that shows up like this. And go ahead and select design, then down to custom CSS. For this one, we have once again, the similar situation with padding. We'll start by aligning that text to the left and it goes all the way to the edge, which is not what we want. So then we'll add that little bit of code that says padding left by about 10 pixels, or you can push it up to 40 pixels or even 80 pixels if you want. Totally up to you. Play around with that number that's padding on the left. When you're done, select save and it'll apply to your Pacific site. So again, those three codes beneath the video, we have York, Pacific, and five. And a little pro tip, anytime you want to change the alignment from left, uh, you actually want it to be right. Just replace the word left in the code with the word right, and you'll be good to go. It's seriously that easy. All right, that's it for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching and have fun with your Squarespace website. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my guide to mobile mods. Make your site look good on every device. Learn more at insidethesquare.co slash mobile mods.